Hello and what's up YouTube? In this video, you will see one of the rope access jobs we do offshore. For this hitch, we were asked to install the lightning protection or what most people know as the lightning rod. For disclaimer, this is not an instructional video. There are already a lot of instructional rope access videos on YouTube but not many showing the actual rope access job. So I thought it would be nice to show you guys what an actual rope access job offshore in a drilling rig is like. Alright, so we came to the rig by the helicopter but our equipment actually arrived before us by supply boat. So the first job we do upon arriving on board is to unpack and check all our equipment. The main piece we will be working with throughout this job is this cable. It is a copper cable about 1 inch in diameter. This thick copper cable is heavy, so we set up pulley system to hold it up easily. And there's the cable drum in the deck and the guys on the elevated walkway pulling up the cable using pulleys. From this point onwards, the cable follows the path of the stairways as it spirals up to the platform just below the slew ring. In here, the cable has to go up and underneath the platform. So, this is the first rope access action on this job. You see the guy climb up just below the platform to guide and secure the cable. He is standing on the stairway handrail, so we are not using working rope yet. He is using the cow's tail for his work positioning. He attached the cow's tail to the crawl to adjust to the necessary length. We secure the cable with stainless steel cable ties and you will see more of that in the rest of the video. And that is what it looks like after the cable is neatly secured in place. This is another section where we use rope access to secure the cable. The guy go down by the edge of the handrail and he has to do rope to rope transfer to get into position under the gratings. Once in position, he go ahead and secure the cable with cable ties. Now, there are a lot of cynical people out there that will say we only do rope access for the video. In fact, it is possible to remove the gratings, so no need rope access. Or, it is also possible to use ladder or scaffolding to do the same task. However, we use rope access simply because it is the best option in this particular situation. Alright, so after he's done under the gratings, he rope to rope transfer again to the ropes near the edge so that he can continue securing the cable all the way down. And this is the cable neatly secured in place. The next task is to run the cable from the slurring platform of the crane all the way to the top of the A-frame. Again, we set up some pulley system for holding. Now in most rope access jobs working at height, the most tiring part is climbing up the ladder. That is me climbing up the ladder. And once on top, that is me taking video clip of the helicopter scene you saw earlier. Another common task to do during rope access work is drilling holes. For this particular job, the battery powered drill is your best friend. You want to make sure the battery has enough juice because it is a long way down to recharge the battery. We drilled holes for the base plate of the lightning rod. And to install it, somebody has to go down on the ropes to access underneath of the platform. We have to hold the steel plate in place and make up the nut underneath using a wrench. The steel plate is heavy and if it falls, in this height, it may have serious consequences like potentially killing someone. So we make sure it is secured with some cords until it is held in place with attaching nuts and bolts. And just like that, we are done with the base plate installation. Now it is time to take a break. While climbing up the ladder can be tiring, 
going down is easy and my favorite part of the rope access work. This guy had an issue with not being able to descend. It turned out he forgot to unlock his backup device. He has to pull himself up to relieve the tension on the rope before it can be unlocked. From this viewpoint, we can see that the I-beam legs of the A-frame is at an angle and not vertically straight up. And that is where we will secure the cable next. This time, two guys work in tandem to secure the cable. One guy pull and secure the cable with stainless steel cable ties. The other guy follow through with the cable tie, tightening tool, and cutting the excess length. The two persons are sharing the same pair of ropes. So the first person's working rope is the next person's backup rope and vice versa. They are also secured on a tension line because as we seen earlier, the I-beam is not vertically straight up. So the tension line is what keeps them near the spot where they need to work, which is the I-beam that is at an angle. Here we can clearly see the carabiner hooked on the tension line. And that is the stainless steel cable ties used to secure the cable into place. The lightning rod on top of the highest structure will have to be connected by the thick copper cable all the way down to the deck grounding point. And that is basically the job order for this rope access job. Pulling cable and neatly securing it in place with cable ties. In rope access work, we would have to use all our limbs. You can see this guy hugging the beam with his legs to be in position. He need to have both hands free to use the cable tie tightening and cutting tool. And just like that, we are done with the pedestal crane. Easy peasy, just like child's play. Alright, so after the pedestal crane, the next task is on the derrick. So we move the cable drum besides the derrick. It is a long way up to pull the cable to the crown block platform. I already pulled some of the cable right here. The guys on top drop this rope and my job is to tie a sling at the end of the cable and connect to this rope. We cannot see them from here but I can call them on the radio so they can start pulling the cable. At that height, the cable is really heavy to pull. The guys on the crown block set up pulley system and took two person helping together to pull the cable up. This is the pulley arrangement they rig up and if I'm not mistaken is a 3 to 1 system. Once the cable is pulled all the way up, all the task that remain is to secure the cable with cable ties. The derrick is actually easier and straightforward compared with that of the pedestal crane because it is almost just vertical and same as before two guys working on the same pair of ropes securing the cable 
as they descend all the way down. At a certain level, the cable has to be routed to the back side of the derrick before continuing all the way down. But that part is easy because we can stand on the beam. And that's it. We are done. Easy money. I hope you liked this video and got an insight to what is it like doing rope access work offshore. If you do, please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. It will help me a lot. I also appreciate if you leave a comment on this video. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you all.